My name is Lawrence Abu Hamdan and we are standing in the 45th parallel uh, video installation. The main part of the installation is a 15 minute monologue shot to camera in the Haskell Free Library and Opera House and that monologue is really written to be performed in that site and that site is quite exceptional in that it's a building with dual jurisdiction between US and Canada, between Quebec and Vermont. It began as a symbolic gesture uh, of philanthropy by the Haskells built in the turn of the century, really built on the borderline, but later after 9-11, that symbol turned to function and, and uh, it started to be used as a sort of crack in an otherwise highly securitized and militarized border regime. So what you'll see as you enter this installation is these two large painted backdrops. Um, those were painted by uh, Keegan's Mission uh, Theatre backdrop painters. The reason why you have those backdrops is actually one they appear in the film. And the reason why they appear in the film is because in the Opera House at the Haskell Free Library you have these old painted backdrops from the turn of the 20th century. Of which one you see featured in the film is the Grand Canal of Venice. And what's interesting is in that Opera House you're sitting as an audience in the US you're watching a performance on the stage, which is in Canada, because the border actually divides the Opera House through the middle. And you're looking into the Grand Canal in Venice. And this kind of strange set of parallel worlds is really what kind of inspires the film. And so each of the acts of this monologue is, there's a sort of scenography of one of these backdrops and they each lift onto the other. And so you start with this idea of the border being a line and with each of these backdrops folding out onto the other you sort of lose the idea of the border simply being a line on the ground and something much more uh, of a sort of richly layered historical space. When the murder took place, the murderer and the murdered were actually in entirely different jurisdictions where borders exist in contingency with one another, that each change on one border manifests uh, a reality on another. And this sort of legal architecture that props up and maintains the violence of the border is cast in this film in both its absurd qualities, you know, just simply being a line on the ground that cuts through a library, and it's also shown in its most kind of lethal articulation. But in this world, this library is one of the last little cracks in the border. 